As an overview, in this module, we discuss key pathophysiologic mechanisms of atopic dermatitis, such as barrier dysfunction, bacterial overcolonization, and immune dysregulation. We'll also highlight some of the pathophysiologic mechanisms that serve as treatment targets. The pillars of atopic dermatitis pathophysiology include stratum corneum dysfunction, and this includes filagrin, ceramides, and natural moisturizing factor, among other active agents, skin sensitization to allergens, bacterial overcolonization, especially with staphylococcus, and there is high colonization with staphylococcus and the potential for superinfection, as well as immune dysregulation. TH2 systems seem to predominate in acute atopic dermatitis, whereas TH1 predominates in chronic atopic dermatitis. As we begin to talk about the pathophysiology of acute atopic dermatitis, this figure will illustrate the complexity of the pathophysiology of this disease. There is debate as to whether the inciting initial event in atopic dermatitis comes from external allergens, also known as the outside-in hypothesis, or from initial primary immune dysregulation, also known as the inside-out hypothesis. Regardless of the initial event, we do know that both outside irritants and dermal inflammation create a cyclical and perpetuating pathway that ultimately results in the classic cutaneous findings and intense itch that we see in atopic dermatitis. In the next few slides, we will discuss this pathophysiologic diagram in more detail.